this is Andrew Blate, co-owner of Beautiful Home Services. We are at our latest renovation at 10320 Crestmore Drive in Silver Spring, Maryland, and we are done. This is the after walkthrough, and we are so proud of this property. I'm starting in the basement to show you how everything turned out from our, uh, from our renovation. It took us about six months. It's about December now, and I think our first video, we were in the springtime. Uh, I'm in the little hallway that we built. Uh, behind me is the garage. We built a wall here, like we had discussed, to close off the HVAC, which is behind this louvered door here. We laid this beautiful uh, LVP flooring down with an underlayment to work as a moisture barrier. We took down the wood paneling, we installed framing, we installed drywall, we installed insulation, we upgraded the electrical. One of the biggest concerns in this basement was that it was incredibly dark and we added a whole boatload of recessed lights. We built a new laundry room with a stackable washer dryer. We actually had enough room to do a utility sink next to it, a folding table with a hanging rod. So we really built a full um, laundry space in, in the basement. And then last but not least, we built a full bathroom. There was a, a pretty scary half bath that was down here, not very functional. And we put a full shower, toilet, and a sink um, and, and made it into a full bath so that if somebody was staying down here, they have access to a full bath. If this became an in-law suite or an au pair suite, or just if the kids are down here playing and they don't have to run up and down stairs every five minutes to go to use the bathroom. So this space really was completely transformed um, 180 degrees and we are incredibly proud of it. So we're gonna go upstairs to the kitchen. So behind me is the side door, which we operate as the main door to the house. Uh, we built a mud room out of this space. We put a nice bench seat in where people can sit down, take their shoes off. The bench actually opens up for storage. The area to my left was the kitchen. So you would have walked into this space and you would have been in the original kitchen. We took the kitchen out. Uh, we put in a nice coffee bar here. This window is where the sink was. And so we, uh, we kept the window to add light. The original kitchen went this way. And so the area that was the original uh, stove was back in this area. We turned into this giant pantry. Nobody has ever complained that their pantry was too big. So we have this big pantry. We took out a wall and opened the kitchen up. So we have our new refrigerator. And then we have this big, open, bright, kitchen with this giant island. This, uh, this slab of uh, quartz is one slab to make this island and it was quite difficult to install. Uh, we also took out the wall between what was the kitchen and, or excuse me, the living room and the dining room to open up this space. We put in a, a, a double oven, six burners, the upgraded hood, herringbone, marble tile, and this kitchen, you could have a party in this kitchen. You could cook Thanksgiving dinner for two families in this kitchen. It's enormous. Uh, this space here, I think, is one of the biggest selling points on this house and one of the biggest wow factors. It's just you walk in and there's this big, open, bright, uh, welping, welcoming kitchen ready to serve, uh, serve dinner to the family. Uh, from here, we're going to go upstairs and talk about the master suite and the renovations that we did up there. We are standing in the master bedroom, uh, and we've talked about in previous videos that one of the most important parts of this renovation was creating a master bedroom, master bathroom en suite. And we're standing in the bedroom portion. Uh, the wall to my right, where we have these beautiful built-ins, is the common wall with the bathroom. So we had two bedrooms that were adjacent. We took out the closets, we created a hallway, added a door, turned the front bedroom into a bathroom, and then renovated the second bedroom, which I'm standing in now, to be create the master bedroom. We added recessed lights, we added marble tile, we added a double vanity with a marble top, we added a rain shower head. And one of the cool things that we did to save space was to add these built-in uh, wardrobes. So instead of losing the space, the four inches that it takes to create the wall for a closet, we did built-ins instead. The built-ins are adjustable. They can be turned into hanging space. They can be turned into shelves. Uh, it maintains the wall and gives us the maximum amount of space in the room since it is a relatively small room. Uh, the master bedroom master ensuite was the most challenging 
portion of the renovation from an engineering standpoint of having to move the water and the drains from one side of the house to the other in order to make it work. But we stayed flexible, uh, we kept an open mind, and we were able to get the project done on time on budget. We are standing in the ensuite master bathroom. Adding a master bathroom ensuite to the property was one of the most important parts of the renovation. It was also one of the most challenging portions of the renovation since we had to add plumbing to a whole separate side of the house. The space I'm standing in was actually one of the bedrooms that was attached to another bedroom. And what we did was we took out two closets. We turned the two closets into a hallway, closed the hallway off to the, to the uh, rest of the house to create a master bedroom and master bathroom. We did some really nice finishes in this bathroom. We did a marble herringbone floor in the shower, double-sided glass, rain shower head, the shower wand, um, marble countertops. Really, we went all out on this bathroom to make it really, really nice so, so that we could hit the price point that we wanted to get on this house. Uh, this, this space was challenging, again, because we had to take out a load-bearing wall, we had to move plumbing, uh, and we had to be flexible in the approach that we took so once we took walls down to see what was there and how we could make the bathroom come together while staying on time on budget as close as we possibly could. Um, other renovations we did on the upper level is we gutted and completely remodeled the hall bathroom. We redid all of the floors in the entire house. We kept as much of the original floor as possible. Um, in the master bedroom, there was a, an old parquet floor that we couldn't save, so we ran new flooring in there, but we matched it up to the old floor in the house. Uh, we painted the entire house, uh, painted the entire upper upper level, replaced all of the doors on the upper level, replaced all the hardware, uh, just to make the house flow uh, nicely. So this was uh, the most challenging part, I think, of the renovation was adding this bathroom, but it was also, um, I think, the biggest wow factor that we were able to add was having a ensuite master bath, uh, master bedroom, master bathroom suite in the in the house.